Well, good afternoon and welcome to the daily update from Havilland Ring Baptist Church. We are so glad that you've joined us again and hope you are well on this lovely day outside. John's going to bring in a devotion and continuing in the life of David. And now we're going to bring some ways that we would like to seek to help you and the community practically. Over to Johnny. Today in 1 Samuel chapter 23, we meet David again. David is still hiding. David is still on the run from King Saul. But in this chapter, he has a great dilemma. Would he stay and preserve his own life? Or would he go to help some fellow Israelites who are in danger and in trouble? David hears that in the town of Kalea, the Philistines have come and they're killing and destroying people in the town of Kalea. So David has a conundrum. Would he stay in his refuge or would he go to rescue his fellow Israelites who are in great need? He knows that if he goes, he will no doubt face the terrible attacks of the Philistines on his own life but he also might very well reveal his identity to King Saul the Israelite king who's constantly looking for David and wanting to find him and ultimately to kill him so David has this great question should he stay or should he go to help his fellow Israelites and in 1 Samuel 23 you could call this chapter the great Q&A four times he has questions Four times he goes to the Lord to find the answers to his questions. But I think Psalm 13 helps reveal something even deeper. In fact, this Psalm may have been inspired by David thinking about the times that he was facing struggle and hardship in his hiding from King Saul. In the dilemma as to whether he would go and save other people's lives or seek to preserve his own. Whether it's even written for a particular context later in David's life when Absalom, his own son, is rebelling against him. But David moves in Psalm 13 to present to us what I believe is the greatest Q&A. In Psalm 13 verses 1 to 4, David presents his questions to God. How long, O Lord? Will you forget me forever? How long will you hide your face from me? How long must I wrestle with my thoughts and every day have sorrow in my heart? How long will my enemy triumph over me? In 1 Samuel chapter 23, David was asking so many questions of God. Should he stay or should he go? And then here in Psalm 13, he's asking the biggest questions of life. How long, O Lord, will I need to be in this situation? How long, O Lord, will I be on the run from King Saul? How long will I battle this spiritual depression that he experienced many times in his life? And he implores of the Lord in verse 3, Look on me and answer, O Lord my God. Give light to my eyes or I will sleep in death. My enemy will say, I have overcome him and my foes will rejoice when I fall. 1 Samuel 23 and Psalm 13, both speaking of the life of David and Psalm 13, revealing the heart of David, reveals some of the big questions of life. How long, O Lord? Why, O Lord? Wonderfully, David finds some answers. And as always, they're always found in the character and in the goodness and in the grace of God. Verses 1 to 4 reveal the questions, but then verses 5 to 6 reveal the answer. David says, but I trust in your unfailing love. My heart rejoices in your salvation. I will sing to the Lord for he has been good to me. In 1 Samuel 23, David had so many different questions and thankfully answers from God. But while they were big situations, the the biggest question David asked in his life was, 
How long, O Lord? Why, O Lord? And maybe if you're asking those questions today, the answer is not found in King David. The answer is found through his greatest son, the Lord Jesus Christ. And in Matthew chapter 27, Jesus himself from David's family tree asked a huge question of God, his father as well. As he hung on the cross, he said, my God, my God, why? Why have you forsaken me? And because the father forsook his own son, the Lord Jesus Christ, we ourselves can come to God. We have access to God through Jesus with our biggest questions like, why, O oh Lord, is this happening to me? And how long, O oh Lord, will this situation in my life go on? Because Christ asked that question on the cross. Because he was forsaken by the Father as our atoning sin bearer. We can now say with David that we can know the unfailing love of God through Christ. That we can know salvation and the rescue of God through Christ and that we too can know that God is good to us because he gave us his one and only son. So in the big questions of life could I encourage you this day to bring them to Jesus. I'm going to ask Keith to conclude this little thought for the day in prayer. Thanks Johnny for that devotion and just before we come to pray just to let you know that as a church, we want to help you and the community around you um, in practical and in spiritual ways, um, in whatever way people would like. That could be the collection of shopping, prescriptions. Um, it could be praying for them. It could be a friendly phone call. It could be delivering a Bible. Lots of ways that we are seeking to help practically and spiritually. If you'd like to avail this help, uh, you can do that by filling in the form or giving us a phone and the details are below this video. If you would like to offer this help to others, then you can share the image on social media or over a text message and you can, you can download that again from our Facebook page or get in touch and we can send it to you. Simply seeking to help others at this time. So let's pray. Father, thank you that you have blessed us abundantly and you've blessed us in Christ. And Father, as we seek to be a blessing to others around us, Father, as we offer practical and spiritual help to those who may need it, Father, I pray that it would be a blessing to them. Father, we pray that many people will be helped and that many people during this time will consider where they stand before you. And Father, we pray as a church family, you continue to unite us, build us, grow us, and make us ready for service to you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks for joining us today. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we'll see you again tomorrow.